Good afternoon everyone. So we got the motor home home yesterday and it's in the drive. At the moment um, I've got the fresh water tank full up with cleaner, uh, giving it a soak so that we can flush that through um, before we actually use it, which will be this Friday. So I thought I'd do a quick um, review of something with regards to security that I'm going to use on the motor home. And that is the clutch claw. Okay, so I'm going to go through this um, and also show you how it's fitted. So, let's have a look what we've got in the box. Instructions. The main body of the actual clutch claw. Now that part goes on the floor, it's nice and padded, so it goes onto your carpet. This piece will go underneath your pedals. This piece goes over the top of your pedals, clamped together, and then prevents the clutch or the brake pedal being used, which then means that your vehicle can't be moved away. So let's have a better look at it, shall we? So also in the box, the little fitting kit. You've got some stickers to put on your windows, so letting people know that who might be minded to try and break into your motorhome or steal your motorhome, that it is protected by a clutch claw, which is gonna make it difficult for them, if not impossible, to take it. And then what you've got, keys for the lock. You've got the bars that fit through the top part of the clutch claw and then go into the bottom part of the clutch claw. Four nuts, for the four bars, and then you've got spacers, because obviously this is sort of universal for different um, motorhomes, different vehicles, and the pedals are gonna be a little slightly bit higher or lower on the, on the vehicles that they're doing for. So, start trying to put it together. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the key to unlock the top piece and slide it off. The bottom piece, as you can see, it's got other washers there for different sizes. What I'm gonna do is put that to one side for a second. And then what you need is a Phillips screwdriver to be able to undo this plate from the main body on the top part of the clutch claw. Once you've done that, this piece will come out and then what you do is you screw these bars or rods into the base piece here which will fit through the other part, the lower part of the, the clutch claw once it's actually fitted to your vehicle. So you need to make sure that you fit these rods where they need to be fitted to fit over your pedals. So at this point you need to just go out and check what you need for your vehicle. So having done that, I'm happy this is the way that my bars or these rods need to fit to be able to go through my pedals. Important to make sure that the cutout in this plate, that part there, is facing towards your steering column or up underneath the dash and the straight piece of this plate at the back will be towards your seat or looking down or, or facing down towards the carpet in your, in your vehicle. Okay, then what you do is you screw these rods all the way in. And don't forget this uh, assembly still quite rough so they're going to be a bit tight but they do screw in with your hands 
all the way in until they stop. So they're nice and tight. Then what you do is you take the nuts that are supplied, and these are you'll need a 17 millimetre spanner for these, 7 mil, 17 mil spanner for these. Put those on the back on the thread of the rods. Once you've threaded them through that plate, just like that. Okay, so they're on there, and now you need to tighten them up with a 17mm spanner. So they're all tight. Nicely done up. And what we're going to do is put that plate back on there and screw it back in with the screwdriver. But before you do that, underneath here, you've got a light that flashes when this is locked into position. So obviously it's gonna illuminate it from outside. If anyone's looking in during the evening or during the night time, that light's gonna flash and they're gonna see that there's a clutch claw fitted or they're gonna be aware that there's some sort of um, security system in your vehicle, all right? So before you put that plate back on, you need to pull this tab out, which obviously then operates the battery. Okay, so that's out. Now get that plate, put it back on there, and then we're gonna put these screws back in and screw it back together. So again, same as with the bolts, just make sure these are nice and tight and done up. So it's not going to become loose. So it shouldn't be rattling around, it shouldn't be loose at all. all right, so it's ready now to go on your vehicle. But what you need to do is go out there with the whole assembly kit with this, with the spacers, so that you can work out where you want it on your pedals to make sure that it fits the way that you need it to be fitted. Okay, so that's what we're now gonna do. So I've got the required spacer on there, and also you get a, a, like an O-ring that goes over the top there that holds all that into place. Foam piece is on the floor, and the bottom plate is underneath the pedals. And what I do is I come across the top of the plate, with the top plate, that screws down. It's important you don't have the key in, because if you have the key in it won't lock in place. And then what you do is you push down onto it so it's nice and tight. And that mechanism, the locker mechanism, will find the hole that's closest that it can get to. And now the clutch claw is in place and the clutch pedal cannot be operated because it won't go down because the bar's in the way and it's hitting the floor. And as I said, that's nice and tight in there, so it's not going to go anywhere. And no one can get in there to that. And being someone who's worked on vehicles and worked in this sort of area, I've had to do this with the driver's door open. So if anyone wants to get in here to get this off, I would suggest that they'd end up having to use an angle grinder. It's going to be very, very noisy. And also they're going to have to have this door open, which is open to everyone in the rest of our street. So, uh, yeah, they're going to struggle with that. And there's the illuminated night, which obviously is going to be lighting up at night. So I'm done there now, I'm going to leave that on there. All it needs me to do now is put the stickers in place. So there you have it, the clutch claw. It's taken me 10 minutes to fit this. All I needed was a Phillips screwdriver and a 17mm spanner. Now the instructions inside the box are very, very clear to follow. There's lots of diagrams of how to put this on. Also in the box, you get three keys. Now, this clutch claw cost me £110, and I don't think that you can put a price on security. I now have peace of mind that my motorhome is safe with the clutch claw on it, and if anyone wants to try and steal it, it's going to make it quite difficult, if not impossible, for them to do so. 
So, thank you very much for watching. If you like this, give me a like. Um, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you could, would like to consider doing so, do so. Um, my channel's taken a little bit of a change. I normally do a lot of drone uh, footage, um, but with the motorhome now, me and the wife are hoping to get out a bit more and so more drone footage will be coming soon. But at the moment, I'm doing bits and pieces covering my new motorhome that I've got. Right, thanks again, and see you soon. Bye-bye.